G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and today I want to talk to you a bit about uh, preparation, you know, making sure your horse is prepared for things. You know, you don't want to just survive a situation, you want to be prepared for a situation. And uh, this horse here is a rather large Swedish warm blood that came in the other day. I think he's three and a half. You know, he came in to get started, but they've done a little bit of work with him. They, they, they said that they have, you know, done some lunging with him or something. They've saddled him and they've actually had the, the lady that owns him, she's actually ridden him at the walk and the trot on the lunge line. So somebody's lunging him and she's ridden him at the walk and the trot. They hadn't canned it yet because they weren't sure what he might do. And so I just have been, I've been through some of the hooking on process and I just went to start working on very basic desensitizing, the very beginning of the desensitizing. And what he did, I thought, well, I'll stop this and video this because I just want to show you that the people that bought me this horse here, they said, oh, well, he's up to a certain point, you know, if we can saddle him and we can sit on him and we can ride him around to walk on the trot on the lunge line. Okay, so, but I think the way they've set it up is, it's all good as long as nothing goes wrong, as long as the world is at peace and the birds don't squawk and the grass doesn't move and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Because, uh, you know, he's been, he's been saddled and all that sort of stuff, so, you know, see, so he's still a little bit touchy doing this stuff, but, you know, he's been handled all over and they've done his feet and whatever, so all that stuff's good. So, you know, that's normally where I'll start rubbing them all over, but the next place that I'll usually start is just taking this lead rope and throwing it over their back like this. And when I throw this lead rope over his back, there is a huge reaction. He is scared to death. Can you... Now, normally I wouldn't quit right there. I would keep doing that until he stopped running around. Because if you stop while he's moving, you're teaching him to run around. Anyway, I'm not trying to show you how to do that stuff. I'm just showing you how unprepared this horse was and how lucky that young lady was that was riding him when she was being lunged that nothing else went wrong. Does that make sense? You know, they kept it all nice and quiet. So the thing is, try not to, you know, to be safe with your horse, try not to make it so your horse doesn't ever get worried about stuff. Work on his worry so he can't get worried about stuff. And that's how you keep your horse safe. But anyway, that's a little bit about preparation and riding and all that sort of stuff. Hope that gives you something to think about. See you guys next time.